So it's been more than 16 months now since Donald Trump won the White House, but Hillary Clinton is still processing the title of her book, What Happened? And given the fact that in January, federal prosecutors opened a probe into pay-for-play accusations of the Clinton Foundation, the recent criticism of the current president is getting some attention. He has uh, uh, undermined the uh, office and used it to enrich himself and his family, uh, disregarded laws, ethical standards. He's crossed into a territory of behavior and actions that are unpredictable, that are erratic, that are undermining the stability of uh, the global order. So the Clintons, just to, you know, tally up, they made $240 million, much of it from foreign countries since 2001. Peter Schweitzer exposed the source of that money in his bestseller, Clinton Cash, and now he's back at it with a brand new book, Secret Empires, exposing how other political families have enriched themselves over the years. And it is fascinating. So first of all, Hillary Clinton claiming that the Trump folks have enriched themselves at the behest of government. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to have Hillary Clinton lecture somebody on ethical standards when it comes to these issues. But look, I mean, it's hard to know. But I think if you look at Donald Trump's family, you can probably make a case that they've lost money from going into public service. You've got people that don't like him politically, that are boycotting him. I'm certainly there have been restraints on behavior. I don't think there's any clear evidence of, of self-enrichment that's taking place. Let's look at this after four years or after eight years and see what the case is. But I don't think you can make that case at all. You always have conflicts of interest, the blurring of lines you have to worry about. But I don't see any clear-cut evidence yet at this point that that's happened. Well, what you are so good at is following the money, yeah. essentially. Yeah. And, and now this new book, Secret Empires, profiles the Kerry family, the Biden family, and the McConnell family. Uh, so, so starting with Kerry and Biden, because those two are linked, right. explain what you found in the business connections and China and their government Positions. Well, it's really interesting, Martha, because there was this critical period from 2013 to 2016 during the Obama administration where the U.S. is engaging with China on the South China Sea, on military challenges, on trade, on intellectual property. Joe Biden, in December of 2013, flies over to Beijing in Air Force Two. With him on the plane is his son, Hunter Biden. Uh, Joe Biden gets widely criticized for going soft on Beijing. Well, Ten days after they return, his son Hunter Biden scores a private equity deal for a billion dollars. That's a billion with a B. It's important to note Hunter Biden has no background in private equity. Uh, he has not done business in China before. And he, along with a guy named Devin Archer, who's a close carry family aide, um, start doing these deals in China. And there are two other major deals that involve the carry and the Biden elements with China, three of them worth billions of dollars. And the argument that they are going to try to make is that this had no influence over policy, which to me is just ludicrous. Anytime you engage in commercial ventures with somebody, if we're worried about a $10,000 PAC contribution influencing a politician, I think we ought to be very concerned about billion-dollar private equity deals going to the kids of politicians. And then there were deals with defense companies that in China who were at the same time being accused of stealing technology from us. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, so they get this money from the Chinese, this billion dollars plus, and this is Chinese government money they've done this deal with. They take that government money and they invest in other Chinese companies or U.S. companies. One of those is a company called CGN, China General Nuclear. They're anchor investors. So this is Hunter Biden, the son of the vice president, and Devin Archer, a close aide to John Kerry. CGN, this company, less than a year after they invest in them, senior executives are arrested for doing what? For stealing nuclear secrets in the United States. Um, and one of the engineers in that company pleads guilty. What they're trying to get access to are these small nuclear reactors that are very similar to those that are on U.S. nuclear submarines. So this is not just about politicians getting quick money. This has serious national security implications, and it is the new growth area of corruption. The old days of politicians stuffing, you know, $90,000 in their freezer has been replaced by billion-dollar private equity deals for your family members, a lot harder to detect and to find. So what about Mitch McConnell? Well, Mitch McConnell, very similar. Uh, China. China's basically adopted this posture of saying that they're going to seek out commercial ties with family members. Uh, Elaine Chao's family is in the shipping business. 
Uh, the government of China, the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, has set them up. They build their ships. They finance the construction of their ships. They provide contracts for state-owned enterprises to ship them around. And the father, the patriarch of the family, gave a gift to Mitch McConnell of between 5 and $25 million. We're out of time, but I uh, wish we had more. Thank you very much, Peter. Good to see you tonight. Thanks, Bob.